It's filled with the Father's wow. I said, Jesus, you're the one that does all the healing, releases love, and listen to the devil run squealing. Woo! Tonight, tonight is the night. Resound daddy's love, that's how we fight. This is the time and this is the place. All you gotta do is resonate his face. Tonight, tonight is the night. Release his love, that's how we fight. Overcome any demonic spell. Send those demons all the way back to hell. Oh, leave the devil, devil, in the lurch. I can't believe I said hell right here in church. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. The whole world, it might be getting crazy, but the church is arising. We're no longer lazy. I want to hear all the demons. I want them to scream because we are the ecclesia with a winning team. It's time not to look at the circumstance. Get down and sing. It's time to dance. I said, Jesus is first. He's not second or third. That's because he's our savior. He's the living word. Woo! I love it when he rhymes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're the winning team. Listen to the demon scream. I can hear the sound of the devil backing up. Beep, 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 beep. Taking out the trash. Boom. Whoa. Come on now, girls. Bring it home, bring it home, bring it home.
walked around Jericho all those days and they couldn't make a sound. You know how frustrating that must have been? <laughs> and the, the, you know, they were wanting to complain and the, she stepped on my heel and I'm the <laughs> worship leader. I should be able to sing right now. And, you know, I'm the high priest. And I should be able to tell everybody what to do. And God says, shut up and walk. But then when they shouted, can you imagine that sound that brought those walls down? God inhabited that. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Take it, Kevin. I don't want mute. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Hey, could you check online and see if Jim and Faith Chosa are on the line from Billings, Montana, Apostle Jim? They were going to come on. See if they're, if they're on. I want to wave to them if they are, the father and mother in the faith also. We're not sure. We're not sure. Okay, let's just, let's just wave to the Chosas. Hey, we love you. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Mm. Well, we, are gonna, we had fun last night. That was. Yeah. I sat in this front row, and it took me a while. I was circling at about 35,000 feet up in the Iamosphere. <laughs> woo. And uh, I, I landed, and, and uh, Barbara Earl, Barbara Earp, my host home, their grandsons that came home and said, uh, would you need anything? I said, no. <laughs> I don't need a thing. <laughs> and then I heard her say crackers. And immediately I answered cheese. <laughs> and it went from there. <laughs> Come on, pickles. Holy Ghost loves pickles. <laughs> Yeah, you all know how to live up here, I'll tell you. I, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's, it's good. Hospitality. I've always been hospitalitized. <laughs> That's not a word. I just made it up. But it started with Dale and Diane. Dale, there they are, Dale and Diane, right there. The door, the way that I walked in through years ago. And they, they know how to live. And then, and then Barbara was going to see me, but due to family situation, we couldn't. And so then these guys right here, Bill, right here, they, they were like, whoa, and Cheryl, they took the last time, and now here. And so y'all know how to live. 
<laughs> but hospitality is the same root word as hospital hospice. And it sets an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit to move because when you honor the anointing, the Holy Spirit, in people, right, you set a foundation for God to move in such a way. So it's easy for me to do, there is a reason behind all this, there, there, there is e it is easy for me to do what I do when I come here because you all make it easy. I got a coffee cup the last time I came, that right here, right, Padma won a coffee cup that said, Jesus and coffee. <laughs> now I had happened to mention, not knowing she had said cup, <laughs> that I love Jesus and coffee in the morning <laughs> with my grandson. He's seven and he's just coming to know Jesus. And so I started drinking from the Jesus and coffee cup. And she says, Grandpa, can we play Legos? I said, it's quarter of seven in the morning. I need coffee. He goes, Grandpa, read your cup. Seven, Jesus and coffee. Jesus is always first. I said, and then coffee? He says, no, then Mima. <laughs> he says, because if you put Mima, the coffee before Mima, Grandpa, I don't know, but I think you're in trouble. <laughs> So then we went right down through all the cats, because we got three cats. We just keep collecting cats for whatever. I'm, I'm not the cat lover. I'm the, I'm the family tolerator. <laughs> anyway, so we have a, a line every morning. Starts with Jesus and coffee. Thank you. Goes to Mima, right? Mateus, Legos, the cats. And I'm at the end of the line. So it's all right. The last shall be first. Amen? That's why you come up here for hospitality. I'm sorry? That's why you come up here for hospitality. Hospitality, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Every place I go to sit, there's either a kid or a cat. <laughs> you sent that one, didn't you? <laughs> and she did, I know. Last night we were having a, it was dueling snorts. Da 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 I want to start with a protocol that Jim and Faith Chosa released in this time we're in, if I may. I, I just want you to drink this in. You don't have to memorize it. I just want you to feel it. It's more caught than taught, okay? Before the throne of grace, Elohim, Father, in Yeshua, in Yeshua, our anointed great high priest, in accordance with your command, in Romans 6, we yield to you the faculties of belief, thought, and understanding in our hearts. To you. We yield them to you. And the grace you have given to us, we apply through the blood of the Lamb upon these three heart faculties of belief, thought, and understanding. We, in the anointed high priest, we... Thank you, Father, for the redeeming of these three heart faculties mm, that have been so beaten down over time. Thank you for your grace that now is restoring life function to these three marvelous heart faculties. And now, as you restore them, Father, by the power of your grace, we now decree that they are open to hear, receive your living words of power, your living words of perfect love, your living words of mighty strength. And from our hearts, we rejoice in your mighty grace. Thank you, Father. We rejoice in your mighty grace in the blood of the Lamb for making our hearts once again strong in the strength of Mighty, great high priest Yeshua, the King of Kings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody give me an amen. Woo-wee. Whoa. Man. Mm. Yabba dibba. Wow. And Father, now that our hearts are open to receive spirit to spirit, we just flourish in your presence of that rarefied air of heaven right now. Ooh. The presence of the Father and all we resound in praise and adoration. Amen. That was an atmosphere changer. <laughs> Just soak that in. Ooh. Open our hearts. Heart to heart. Malachi 3.16, a book of remembrance is written eternally when we go heart to heart. 
not head to head. Head to head's okay, but heart to heart is where, God, is where the miracles are. That's where the miracles are. I was sharing last night. The brain is a beautiful thing. I'm not disparaging it in any way. However, the miracles are in the now, and God speaks to us in the now through our heart. <clears throat> Hearts. Wow. <clears throat> wow. We're in this season. We have been for some time now. We talked about the Feast of Trumpets, which is Rosh Hashanah, which is every year. We're grafted into our Jewish brothers and sisters, our older brothers and sisters, even though we're, we were following Jesus in a different way. We love and honor, obviously, the first scriptures, the Jewish scriptures, the first covenant, the first covenant, because now in the second covenant, it says in Hebrews, it's a greater covenant, and we have the opportunity, the joy we don't got to, we get to, in an adventure we call life, see it fulfilled. We get to see the living word of the Old Testament, the first covenant, fulfilled in the new, filled fully, fulfilled. We get to do that. We don't got to. We get to. That's exciting. Whoa. We get to have Jesus and coffee. In this decade, there's a new decade, Wayne Anderson released in San Diego, the end of, beginning of December, a word for the decade. A new season. It's a season of the heart. We, we, and not that we still don't speak of the kingdom, but you heard some things about the heart, but now you're going to be hearing more and more things about the heart. Before the kingdom season came in, we didn't hear a lot about the kingdom. And before that, it was the apostolic. And before that, it was the prophetic and the, and the shepherding. And, and, and there was the things that you always heard about and still will, but the Holy Spirit put a certain, certain emphasis. And now this emphasis is, you watch, the season of the heart. It's a decade of the heart. We're in a time of the season of trumpets where your word, my words, our words, when we resound his words, have, uh, it goes far beyond what they did before. We have an impact now that we have never had because of the season we are in. That season, the, the, the Feast of Trumpets, we came into at the, at the time, I think it was a couple of years ago, um, we were, you listened, the word, you listened, the word was ayin, it was here, the Jewish word, the, the Hebrew word. And then it became pei, P-E-Y. And P-E-Y was in the symbol of a, an expanded open mouth. The Jewish symbol was an expanded open mouth. And it was more than just Rosh Hashanah that year. Now we're open. And I think I released the word last time I was here from Faith Chosa that we're in the season of the Feast of Trumpets, but more than just a Jewish weekend or a week, it's a season in which we listen to what the Lord is saying, and when we resound it, not just up here in our brain, but resonate it down here in our knowers, that's when the miracles really yes. begin yes. to happen. We were watching it here last night. Even though the, the, it was, there was a roll of, every night's different. I'm not saying, last night the joy of the Lord came, we basically, detached with love from the foolishness that's going on in the world. And we're in a Holy Ghost love bubble to have a little, a little selah, a little just drink in the shalom of his love because a, you get into the news there, and it, it, I get crazy when I start listening to the news. You know, it's like, not that I don't want to be informed, but immediately I might be up here and all of a sudden, you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's like, then you, <laughs> I shared last night about the guys on the road to Emmaus, that they didn't recognize Jesus because they had listened to the news <laughs> that he was dead. So they weren't expecting that. They weren't expecting because he's dead. Well, that was a fact, but it wasn't the truth. They had the truth of walking right next to them. And they didn't even see it. The signs and wonders all over the place. It's time for us to look for the signs and wonders. Why? I always wondered what signs and wonders, why they were connected. You know, these certain things go together. Peanut butter and jelly. I mean, you know why they go together, right? But signs and wonders, signs and wonders. I always say, signs and wonders, why do they go together? Right? And then the Holy Spirit told me one day, he says, I'm showing you signs to raise your faith. Look for the signs that are already there. The signs are there. Look for them. And when you see the signs that are there, you know I'm talking to you in the way that I made you specifically, right? Prophetically, everybody might not be a prophet, but everybody can prophesy. God is talking to everybody. And when you take time to stop and listen to him, right, speak to you the way he wants to communicate communicate with you, then your faith rises because you see the signs. Yeah. And then the wonders follow. 
We don't chase wonders. They follow us because we believe. And they're there all the time. But if I'm too busy, I'm not looking. My grandmother once said as I first started to drive, she was a wise old Irish woman she was, Agnes. She was a fine gal she was. And she said, you know, it's really hard, boyo, to see the speed limit sign that says 90 when you're you, you know, to see the speed limit sign that says 55 when you're doing 90. <laughs> she had a few other Celtic euphemisms she used to throw by me, you know. Don't be afraid of making a mistake. If you take a left turn and it's wrong, make three more, you're right back where you started. <laughs> what are you worried about? I was sharing that last night with the ladies at the end of the night, and she'd say, you might think you're ahead of me, but you don't know what lap I'm on. <laughs> And then there was always the, always waiting for the back of the head at the 8.30 at St. Mary's, you know. <clears throat> You'll be quiet now. <laughs> Every once in a while in church, I still duck. <laughs> oh, that was supposed to snort then. <laughs> I almost did, but I caught myself. <laughs> One nostril. Right? Half a snort. Lean to the right. You're a ventriloquist. You did that, but it sounded like me. You're good. <laughs> You've progressed since last night. <laughs> Don't be doing that. You're loaded. I'll be falling down. <laughs> you got so much Holy Ghost on you. I'll be, you'll be preaching up here. <laughs> you see what it's like to get up here and try not to snort. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. We love you. You're beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs> the voice of the Lamb is speaking with us. He's speaking with us as we speak his word. We're co-heirs in Christ, the word says. All, all about the word, proven in the spirit, right? We're co-heirs. We, I, share that, I, I think I touched on it last night, that we own the produce of what, what the word produces the produce, the fruit of the Spirit, sends the gift. The fruit sends the gift. Everybody's all about the gifts. It's the fruit. Not too many people pay, pray for patience. My wife prayed for patience. She got twins. <laughs> Be careful. It's true. Whoa, whoa. We own those words and the work of those words. We own that through the shed blood. The shed blood is the doorway of our inheritance. That's what communion's all about. Communion is not an act we do once a month or every once in a while. It's not a, it, it is the battle cry. It's the most radical weapon of our warfare. Unleashed, radical, mountain-moving, devil-stomping love. Whoa! which is going on in this country right now. So watch for the signs and wonders. They thought he was dead. <laughs> they listened to the news. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't take much for our voice trumpeting with his to change things around us. Watch your words. Pure language doesn't mean that you're cussing, even though it's not good to cuss. Why, and somebody said, why is that? There's more than 20,000 words in the English language. Why do you persist in only using five or six? <laughs> Expand. <laughs> That's vulgar. Vulgar means common. We're not common. We're set apart. But pure language is the resonance of his word. Whoa. Two, four, six, eight. Church, it's time to resonate. <laughs> Whoa. We're in a new, the Greek word is neos, new, never before, now, covenant, covenant. They made me take Latin because I was no good in math. <laughs> Co, come together, venat, veni, to come. We come together. That's what the communion thing is all about. When I realize that I be he, <laughs> bad English, 
I'm not God, but I be he, and he be me, <laughs> right? It's like, whoa. You mean, yeah. So when the enemy gets in my ear and I stop the spirit of Eeyore, <laughs> the glass isn't half empty, it's broken, and the water's on the floor. You ever have one of those mornings? Right? I used to say my disease, the bad stuff got up. It was doing push-ups. My disease was doing push-ups. Alcoholism and drug addiction over 30 years ago, waiting for me to wake up, <laughs> and then would trip me as I got up. My, 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 my words used to be, oh, God, another day. <laughs> Same words, God, another day. <laughs> totally different, Amen. totally different. Amen. Doesn't mean I'm that way all the time, but now I know I, I got a way to turn around real quick, you know? Well, don't you want to praise him? Jesus and coffee. <laughs> just like, no, let's be honest. There's times when I'm there, but I don't, I'm always there, but I don't feel like I'm there. So can, can we confess a little bit? Huh? And, and it's okay to be where you are. It's okay for you to be where you are right now, tonight. Just might not be okay to stay there. <laughs> and it might just be in the beginning. I, I praise you. I, I, I praise you. I really don't want to skip. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> skip over the offense. <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> right, he's alive and on the job, all right. <laughs> I love when he enters in. <laughs> no, he says, Kevin, I love when you enter in. <laughs> I'm always in. Whoa. Wow. The Coffee and Jesus, Jesus and the coffee. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. I got up early and I was up and it was into my second cup, you know, and Mateus, the grandson, comes walking downstairs and it's usually, oh, I'll be with you in a couple minutes and I'm bright eyed waiting for him. I got the Legos all set, we're ready to build something. And he looks at me and says, Well, Grandpa, I can see the coffee has done its job. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> what have you been listening to? <laughs> it's great. He's awesome. John 16, 13 and 14. However, when he, Big H, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. That's like the guys on the, guys on the road, right? It wasn't until they said, hello, hey, could, could you stop in with us and tarry a bit? And they broke bread together. When he broke bread, everything changed. So that communion is, is, as I started to say, is not a religious exercise. What it is is an enunciation of our faith. Yeah. It's an enunciation. It's an enunciation of our inheritance. We are the body of Christ. And that body was not broken. No, that word break is better understood as given in hospitality like the breaking of bread. Our body is remembered. Not only remembered, but remembered. Right? And when we remember, that's the Greek understanding of the word to equip. The Greek word is katatismos, and it's better understood in its ancient, fuller, deeper Greek meaning as the fitting together of body parts that have been previously separated. Whoa. So when we equip, it's iron sharpening iron. As they say in Boston, be the gift you are. <laughs> be the gift you are and join it to the other gifts that are being, because it's not about our doing, it's about our being. And when we come together in being, we open our hearts and yield to the presence of the Lord, and he does through us. Whoa. I always love the Frank Sinatra song, I'm that old, I remember it. <laughs> dooby dooby doo, uh, dooby dooby doo. No, it's taking it backwards, old Frank had it backwards. It should be be do be do be. <laughs> be do be be. That's not, the shower's not on, I'm not going to sing. <clears throat> he will guide you in all truth and he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. That's us. And when we hear what he is saying, that's why Jesus only did what he saw the Father do. He hadn't been glorified yet. He was, he was, doing, he was doing miracles as a guy. So, and I, I'm human, so the guys and gals could do miracles too. Right. Right? That's why he was always looking. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> hey, Dad, what's up? <laughs> what do you want to do? Because he was a guy. 
And then he was glorified. Then he, he was, went to heaven. He went to heaven and was crowned. Not because of his inheritance, but because he was a victorious king. He was a, he's a king of kings because he was a victorious king. He was hanging on that cross. He was a son of man. And then he was buried. And when he came out of the tomb on the third day, he came out as the son of God. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> right? I mean, think about it. I'm great. I'm the king of kings. You know, we, I get this. I, I, I got this. I've had this sterile vision of what it was like being with Jesus and the apostles. You know, it's like just in the, in the you know, and I started to read the scriptures a little different because he was like, he was a guy. He was a man. You know, he didn't sin, but he was a man. And he had, you know, he had his stuff. You know, and it had to be a hoot to be hanging out with him. I mean, whoa. Hey, whoa. You know, but that's us. He's given that to us. And when we realize that, we should be a hoot to hang out with. <laughs> we should be a hoot to hang out with. Not hoping and wishing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I get these 50s and 60s songs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over Woodstock. <laughs> I was there the first one. I was. I got the T-shirt. I do. Whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oof. We should be so full of him, like Peter's shadow. Peter's shadow <coughs> healed people when he walked by. It wasn't his shadow. It was the presence of Jesus so big. He had walked with the master for those years that wherever he went, heaven exploded around him, through him, on those who were there. I want to be like that. Amen. Yes. Now, I got a taste of it once. I'm in Maryland at a, at a big church. And it was kind of theater style, and the seats went up, you know, kind of the aisles went up like that. And I'm, God's healing the guy's knee, and I'm walking him up in the working of miracles, and his knee's getting healed. And I walk by this guy, and this guy steps his foot out. I thought it was like he was trying to trip me. What was that all about? That was weird. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Christians. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't know, whatever, you know. I was in a mood. God, luckily, God was the one healing because I was in a mood. <laughs> He'll use you if you're in a mood. You know, it's okay. Just don't, don't back off. Just keep breaking through. So anyways, I'm living proof. <laughs> so anyways, um, the next night we're doing testimonies, and the guy with the knee is giving a testimony. He got healed, and he's dancing around and skipping a little bit. <laughs> just <laughs> and so it was good. And the other guy, the guy that stuck his foot out, gets up and starts walking. Well, what's he talking about? I didn't try and pray for him. You know? Guy gets up and says, You know, when you're walking up the aisle with that other guy that just testified, all I could think of was Peter's shadow. My ankle's been hurt really bad, and I stuck my foot out, and when you walked by, your shadow passed over me, and I got healed. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, new sheriff in town. So for about two and a half weeks, I carried a flashlight every time I was in ministry. <laughs> no formulas. No formulas. Yeah, well, there are. Love and faith. Woman with the issue of blood, be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Faith is what goes to heal. Love is what sends it. It's all you need to know. Everything else fills the syllabus. <laughs> Love and faith. Love and faith. Faith is sent. The gift is sent by the fruit of love, the fruit of the Spirit. All you have to do is fall in love with people. And if you can't fall in love with them and they're in front of you, and you might have a, some people are easy to pray for and some aren't, here's a little trick. It's not a trick, it's just a good tip. Back up for a second and allow the love of the Father to flow through you because you don't have to love them. Amen. You gotta allow His love to flow through you and that's good enough. Wow, and from there, you'll grow because it's impossible to have his love flow through you and not have it make a positive effect to get you where he wants you to be. Somebody give me an amen. amen. Woo, woo, woo. Come on. We're talking real stuff here. Mm. Spiritual blindness happens when we are in a natural state. It can happen. We miss things like the guys on the road to Emmaus missed because we're just we're listening to the other voices we don't need to be listening to. Now, I'm not saying you're hearing audible voices. What I'm saying is that the committee, 
Do you ever have a, a, a less than life giving interaction with somebody and they, they kind of, in an argument, or somebody had a, 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 a verbal altercation that wasn't positive and you're driving home and you're thinking of all the things you could have or should have said? <laughs> That's the committee. <laughs> Next time. Am I right? Or am, am I the only one? You're right on. All right. All right. So, we can walk through life and block out of God, all of God's signs and signals. Unbelief keeps the veil drawn over our eyes. The Greek word is pistis, belief. Apistis is unbelief. Pistis is a substance. It's an actual substance. Faith is the substance. Unfaith, guess what? Is a substance. How do you give it no room? How do you get rid of it? Hearing the word of God. When you're in his presence, hearing the now word, everything else goes. It has to. It's not easy, but it's simple. It's so simple that I miss it on a regular basis. <laughs> True? I just need to stop, drop, and roll and get back in that place. Whew. What's that got to do with anything aside? Well, the bigger picture I'm dealing with tonight is where we are as a country. Okay? You can look at the things of earth, or you can look at the things unseen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And stand on the word. We are not responsible for the outcome. We are responsible to resonate his word and create an atmosphere that will bring heaven to earth. See, God isn't Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. Any kids here? <laughs> Maybe there's a few at home. Anyways, I'm not going to say that. So at any rate, <clears throat> okay, we don't, shouldn't sit tapping our toe and expecting God to do something, even though he's sovereign God and will do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants, he's sovereign God. He loves us so much in this new covenant, this Neo's time. He's waiting for the abundance of his word to come out of our hearts and the reservoir of his love in us coming out to create the atmosphere which brings heaven. It, create, heavens, it creates heaven. It pushes back the force of darkness. I'm not saying we're God, but if the... If the out of the abundance of his heart, there it is, his mouth does speak. When we resonate that word, he's in heaven, what are we releasing? Heaven. And you get a few of us together in the same place, maybe not in agreement, but in unity, anything is possible. That's why there'll be miracles here tonight. They're already happening. I'm setting an atmosphere more than teaching. I'm doing a potpourri of faith here, right, to, to trigger different things in different people because not everybody responds to the same. But the word is living, and the atmosphere here is changing, even though it's quiet and different than last night. Last night, if we laughed anymore, I think I lost four pounds in laughing last <laughs> night. So I went back and ate cheese and crackers. I wanted to put some of them on. <laughs> I'm losing too much. He is alive. He's in our midst. But his appearance and answers may not come in the form that you expect. He didn't show up the way they expected him to show up on the road. When he showed up later on to the disciples, they were scared. They thought he was a spirit. <clears throat> Faith is just a supreme act that can open your eyes into a realm beyond your five senses. And they're all good. Because we need them. That's why God gave them to us. But when I'm living in that only, that's when the enemy can get in and start to attack me with the yabats. Yabat. You don't understand. I've prayed for diabetes before and nothing's happened. Yabat. That's yabat. Oh, I've prayed for headaches and stuff and they went away. But you're talking a meniscus here. You're talking somebody needs a sponge between their knees. It's bone on bone. That's kind of hard. No, it's not. God made it the first time. He knows the recipe. Ah, <laughs> uh, Michael, send out a meniscus. <laughs> 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 
angel on the big angel on the big ladder. <laughs> Walmart. Me 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 me. M e n i. That's it. <laughs> oh, they write everything in heaven in English. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> it's in tongues. Everything's in tongues. Meniscus. <laughs> How do you know? He's not going to give you thanks for the gift of interpretation. Practice it. Parthians, Medes, Elamites, meniscuses. <laughs> well, how do you know? Well, Ephesians 1.3, he says, Blessed be the God of our Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Why isn't it happening? I've been praying really hard. My faith is maybe waning a little bit here, God. What are you doing? Are you busy in Africa? You got no time for me? Anybody ever thought that slide? You're laughing. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, it might, might not be those words, but anybody ever had that fly by? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm down here praying. I'm saying all the right words. Hello. <laughs> it's the anointing that heals. Get it in you, release it. You've got to be in heavenly places. Oh, that's why it's in heavenly places, in Christ Jesus. I'm listening to the stuff up here, and it's taking me right out of the anointing. It's taking me right out of the heavenly place. I'm back on earth. Beep, good place. He put me here, but not the place. I'm on earth. I'm playing an away game, to use a sports analogy. I'm in heaven. I'm doing a home game. You want to, you're in both. It's neither, not either or. It's, it's and. I'm in both places. What am I focusing on? So it's quantum law of the observer. Whatever you're observing will appear. I share it all the time, walking through airports, people like this bumping into me. Then everything else is faded away. And they're just looking at this. When I look at Jesus, I'm in heavenly places. No matter how bad a day I'm having, no matter how bad it is. I had a Sunday morning, was it last Sunday? Yeah, I think it was. Mr. Grouch woke up. The judge, I had the big gavel. I was ready to pound it on anything that got in my way. <laughs> Nothing that working the way I wanted it to work. Little Kevy came out. He was pouting. i have been up all of three seconds. I ignored the coffee. <laughs> Which means I wasn't with Jesus either at the moment. I was, but I wasn't focusing. I wasn't even going to go to church. I don't know. She said, you're not going to church? No, I'm in church enough. <laughs> Besides, the last thing I want to do is go to church and have to smile when I don't feel it. You know that one. How are you? I'm blessed. That's a different kind of snort. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me five, girl. You're right there. You're awesome. <laughs> All right? And so, whoa. whoa. You're loaded tonight. What have you been doing? Praying? <laughs> Oh, jeez, whoa, do that again, <laughs> Woo! yeah, hot hands, you are going to heal many, many people by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ that lives in you, you don't even have to say the right words, you show up and you are changing atmospheres, not only the smile, the smile on your face bespeaks the love of the Father that's in you and coming out of every pore of your being. There it is. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> double, double, double portion. Good. <laughs> That's called the MPA, Miss Piggy anointing. <laughs> oh, Jesus, thank you. <laughs> Mighty woman of God. Hear me, you will help many people. You don't have to run around just as God starts bringing them to you because you have a kingdom atmosphere. It's a spirit of attraction. I was talking with the pastor earlier, not promotion. When you're flowing in the stuff, you don't have to promote anything. They come to you. It's like low-hanging fruit. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Father, for this one. Whoa. Mm. The power of the risen Christ. <laughs> that laughs. <laughs> Escalates. Because he always takes us to greater. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 
who, I just had a picture of you on a roller coaster, and the hills used to be high and then really low, okay, in life. And now when you get to the end of the roller coaster ride, I'm not saying you're at the end, but they're more like this, it's better. Yeah. It's better, it's better, it's better, it's better. Wow, yeah, yeah. But I saw you with your hands in the air. With me, yeah, you're like that. I'm one of these, when's this going to be older? <laughs> what did I, why did I say yes? <laughs> you're, the, you're the kid in front of me going, yeah! <laughs> the church has been like this. <laughs> well, we really should be, ah! Come on, church. Whoa, 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 there was some wind on that, hey, yeah. our friend James Berkeley was in heaven, he did that, he was like, he, he, I got a, he popped up, he's in heaven now, but he popped up on Facebook, remember when, a few years ago, and he was doing the roller coaster thing, he was doing the, your life sometimes is clink, clink, clink up the top, and then it's, yeah, whoa, wow, mm. All right, who was listening? Where was I? <laughs> I'm totally lost. It's all right. It's okay to be lost. I used to try to fake it, you know? Nah, it'll come. Holy Spirit, take it away. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we'll go back to the Word. That always helps. Well, Ephesians 1.20, which finishes with of segues from Ephesians 1.3, which we just said, he, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in heavenly places. Oh, yeah. so Ephesians 2, 6 goes on. These are, the beauty of these is they're connected. <laughs> hey, I'm connected. Hey. <laughs> and raised us up together and made us sit. You sit. <laughs> you skip. <laughs> I know. That's probably why you like to skip. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and made us sit together. You know, all over the world, different backgrounds, different times, and yet, take a look around you now. This might be the only time we're all together, just this group as we are. Take a look. Just look on. Look, look at this group. He made us sit together. Some of you never met each other before, some have, doesn't matter. But here we are, say hi. Give everybody a fist bump. Give everybody a fist bump with the body of Christ. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hey, hey. This is it. This is, as long as it's not a, a three-hour tour. <laughs> dun, 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 Gilligan. <laughs> The Professor and Mary Ann. <laughs> that was a three-hour tour. We, never, we may never all be together again. Enjoy the moment. Because he gathered us together. Think of the power on those words that just kind of fit in between all the really important ones. <laughs> no. They're all important. He sat us together for such a time as this. For iron to sharpen iron. You can just be the gift you are and add it to the beautiful we, the beautiful we that's the body of Christ. It used to be the beautiful me, <laughs> but it's the beautiful we. It's we. We, 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 all the way home. <laughs> that's what the church should be doing. We, 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 no, no, that didn't sound right. <laughs> For those of you that are listening, <laughs> it's too bad Kevin didn't show up tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to, and I'm saying nothing. Anyways, thank you, Jesus. And he raised us up together. See, how does that happen? Not with agreement. The ecumenical movements, God bless them. Everybody get in a room and have a meeting and try to agree. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> it's nice to be nice, but you know, no, no, <laughs> not agreement, unity. unity. Unity is what pulls us up together. It pulls and we all come together. Yeah, I don't have to like you, you don't have to like me. Jesus says I gotta love you, 
But I just touched on that a few minutes ago. If, if I can't work up love for you, there's some people that just like, they keep dropping it at your feet and it's like, <laughs> probably just had one pop into your head. <laughs> it's like, mm. But I just got to back up and yield. I love that. I share that every night that my new age friends ask me what my sign is. I tell them yield. <laughs> to the Holy Ghost. Uh, amen. What month is that? It's every month. You guys are getting gypped. You only get one. <laughs> I love them. They're wonderful people. They just think differently. That's all. They're plugged into a different power source. But we together, because we are together and he put us together, you know, and if you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior, if you haven't, tonight's your night. Thank you very much. All you got to do is join in. We don't fill out any forms. Why don't we all do that right now together, just to redo it together. And if you've never done it before, somebody, tell somebody afterwards that you're doing it for the first time. It's not about going to church. It's about being in a relationship with the, the Savior. So with me, I'm inviting you. Everybody, Father God. Father God. Thank you. Thank you. You loved us so much. You loved us so much. You sent your firstborn. You sent your firstborn. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ. That those that believe in him. Would have, would have eternal life. Well, Jesus, well, Jesus I, believe in you. I believe in you. You're my Lord. You're my, Lord. You're my, Savior. You're my Savior. You're the Alpha. You're the, Alpha. You're the Omega. Omega. You're, everything You're everything in between. And what you did, what you did. when you died on that cross you died. and you rose again and you ascended into heaven and you sit at the right hand of Dad, is more than enough to take care of anything that I might have done in my life. So I thank you. I receive you. I resonate. I, do, I skip in your presence. Woo. Papa God, put on the coffee. I want to sit in your presence. It's not a drive-by. It's not a one and done. It's constantly yielding to the presence. The fullness of obedience, as I shared last night, is not just obeying the rules. Even though it's good to obey the rules, the fullness of obedience is opening your heart, your mind, to be fully consumed by him. That's repentance. Mm -hmm. Repentance is not saying I'm sorry. Even though it's good to say you're sorry, that's socially acceptable. <laughs> but that's not repentance. Right. Repentance is being in his presence, turning to him and letting him fill you up so you don't want to sin again because you're in his presence. I had a PhD and I'm sorry. <laughs> it never changed anything, except they quieted things down so I could continue on my way to do whatever I wanted to do rather than turn to him. And if you keep can turn, turning to him, you know, grace is not a get out of jail free card. It's an enabling power. Whoa. That's why they call it good news. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. So he raised us up and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, why did I go through those three scriptures? Because when the stuff is flying and I'm in the middle of it, all right? <coughs> I need to have in my reservoir, in my gut, I have to know who I am. Because yeah. from that place, all authority flows. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget once in Peru, I got a girl serpentine on the floor coming towards me. And she's off the ground about this much. Mm -hmm. And she's slithering at me, demonically possessed. You better know who you are in Christ. <laughs> Wayne Anderson said, I let out a howl. <laughs> Get out of her! 
and she hit the ground. Boom! Put the prayer team on her. I went, whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, they, they're, they're coming. I had a warlock come at me in Chiclao, South America, Peru. I was with Wayne. We're at a bus station. I was with Wayne, Josh Anderson, who've been here, right? Broken English. I did not know my enemy was here. You got a guy come up to you in a foreign country and say, I did not know my enemy was here. I was having a good day. Little Kevy was playing. Hola, Bubba. <laughs> turn to Wayne, you want to turn him into a frog or do you want me to? <laughs> now, I can't do that, but he didn't know that. <laughs> Know who you are in Christ. Know who you are in Christ. You know? Well, we get fetishes all the time. Jim and Faith Chosa used to say, you people, are you fetish? You get rid of it. No, he said, no, keep it. It's a trophy. <laughs> we had fetishes around our house. They said, Wayne, they're sending fetishes. We're found out by a local coven. Cool. You must be doing your job. <laughs> You're on the radar. And then Jim says, yeah, keep it. Why? He says, it's a trophy. He says, they just illegally entered your space, you now have a spiritual right to go after them. Oh, think about that one. You just turned it, whoa, greater is he than me, the he that's in the world. Hey, whoa. That doesn't mean they say, bring on the fetishes. You know, you get tired of cleaning up the mess, you know. But when you know who you are, everything is, oof, whoa. Wow, 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 oof, oof. Ooh. What would you have the Lord do for you right now tonight? God's highlighting you in love to me. What would you have him do for you right now tonight? I know the other things happen, but right now, what would be the biggest thing on your list right now you'd have God do? If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Just come up, he's going to do it. Do you have something in mind? Well, it's kind of funny because... Kind of funny. Yeah. He is. Really he's kind of funny. He should have an HBO special. He's so funny. <laughs> I kind of thought that might happen tonight. And I was like, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I, I want to be the authority, have more authority, and have be able to operate better mm -hmm. in atmospheres mm -hmm. that are oppressive. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm putting my hand on your head right now because... He's highlighting you, and he just said he wanted to give you, I heard, he is giving you the desires of your heart. Isn't it funny? I've been talking about identity tonight. I've been talking about inheritance. I've been talking about authority when you know who you are, and that's what you wanted, and here it is right now, and that's why he was highlighting. Whoa. If I can only remember the authority prayer. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. You got the timing down. It's all right. We'll work on the other stuff later. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for laughter. Thank you for joy. From the place of joy, the fruit of the Spirit, it's not fake, it's real. You know who you are in Christ. It doesn't mean you have to be silly and joking. Be the gift you are, the way he made you. And from that place of knowing in your heart of hearts who he is in you and who you are in him, from that place, all demonic forces run. They run. They run. Whoa. You got the stuff, girl. You got the stuff. Very fact, you asked for it. It's already, it's, you're at the doorway, it's right there. Now let it awaken. You've got it. It's in heaven, and now heaven come to earth, because you're in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's arising now. That's why they call it the great awakening. You're not already naturally what you already are eternally, and now you're awakening to that who you already are. Whew, whoa. Wow. I feel that. Ooh. Right there. I feel that. Take a big breath in. I'll let out all, anything that'll be resisting right there. Oh, there it is. Whoa. One more time. Breathe it in real deep. Holy Spirit, have your way. Now let it out. Whoa. Yeah. 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 
like repenting for not being who I'm meant to be. Okay, so now what you've just done is you repented by not the words. That's good. That's saying I'm sorry, but you just turned to him when you were standing here, even though you didn't turn. That's you just did what I shared. You did repent. You would turn to him and you're filling up on his love. That's what we're doing here. That's repentance. I can say, I understand you. It's good that you said that, but now take it to another level and rather than do intercession, become intercession that you already are. We get, we've, we've been brought up in churchianity with all due respect. I'm not talking against the church. I love the church, okay? Religious spirit is when it's more important to be right than it is to love. Okay? We serve a kingdom of love, not a kingdom of right. I don't have to get it right. He did. That doesn't mean it's okay for me to sin, but when I begin to waver or I do fall, right, sin, I turn to him. Fill up. The fact it bothers me now, if I'm in that place, because it never used to. The voice of the Lord is really loud in my life. And if I miss it, I feel terrible. That's good news. <laughs> That's because I've turned to him and filled up. Wow. It's one of the Psalms. David was singing when he fell to the to prophet Nathan, rebuked him when he went to Bathsheba and then killed her husband so he could be with her. Yet God said David had a heart after mine. It didn't mean it was okay to sin. He had a, and so that, that Psalm, I think it's Psalm 53 or 50, 51st maybe, create in me a clean heart, O Lord. You know? That thing used to open to that page when I walked by my Bible. <laughs> create in me a clean heart, Lord. Right? Whoa. Mm. Thank you. You haven't taken your Holy Spirit from me. Read that. And then don't rewrite the Bible, but read it from the place of the New Testament. That was the old. Thank you that you have created a clean heart in me. Thank you that you never took your Holy Spirit from me. And now I can walk in victory and tell sinners of your love. Oh. Tell them by the very joy that's coming out of me, not even my words, because they're looking at what you're doing more than listening to what you're saying. Wow. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Man, it's good up here tonight. <laughs> Just Come on, put your hands up. Just take some of this, will you? It's right here. Take it. Ooh, drink it in, drink it in, drink it in. A whole lot less thinking, a whole lot more drinking. That's why they call it the Oasis. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not going to be midnight at the Oasis. <laughs> When's he going to finish? <laughs> midnight at the Oasis. Whoa. Something about send your camel to bed, I forget. <laughs> I, never, I always miss the words of those songs. I had hearing problems as a kid, you know. I, I didn't, I, this was just things I didn't know, you know. Oh, whoa, whoa. I thought it was, I, this might sound blasphemous, it's not. I thought it was Blessed John the Blacksmith. <laughs> but things I just didn't get, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Mm, thank you, Lord. Wow. Shoulder, I heard shoulder. Somebody got a shoulder that's not working right? Frozen shoulder? Is that you? Frozen, frozen? Does it hurt right now? Oh, you got a thing on. Yeah. Is, I had surgery. Oh. <laughs> oh. How long ago did you have surgery? Uh, uh, three weeks. And did they do good? They did wonderful. Good. I'm a, can I put my hand on you? Yeah. Is this the shoulder in question? Good. You don't have to be prophetic, right? <laughs> oh, you got a thing on. <laughs> I, I see somebody with a sling. I don't think they're practicing. Thank you, Father, for the work of the doctors and nurses, the surgeon. Thank you for all the attendants. Thank you for the work that they did. And now accelerate the healing from heaven on earth. They did their job on earth. Now accelerate the job. Thank you, Papa. 
Any, is there pain in it tonight a little bit? Discomfort? Mm -hmm. yeah. There is. Mm -hmm. Let's say 10 was the worst pain and zero was no pain. What would you give the pain a number right now? Three. A three? Okay, well, three is not acceptable. <laughs> no pain, no pain. <laughs> Between you and me, we hate three. <laughs> right here, right now. Thank you, Lord. Now I speak to the pain and I say, you are about a symptom. You point to the problem. That's what symptoms do. You're good. You pointed to the problem. You did a good job, pain. But you're not needed now because Jesus said, it is finished with me. It is finished. You decree a thing, declare a thing, it shall be established for you, and light shall shine upon your way. Now, Father, we decree in your name, we, we, as co-heirs, we say thank you, Father, that this pain goes now because it is finished. Jesus took care of it on the cross. We're not wishful thinking. We are proclaiming that which is true. We say your word now. We release that living word into your shoulder now. We declare the pain to go right now. Begin to feel the warmth of his love right now. Begin to feel right now. Begin to feel daddy's love, the heat of his love right now. Right here, right now. The passion, the same passion that created the universe, the same passion that rose Jesus from the dead is now recreating in your body because of his love for you coming through all of us. Everybody raise up your hand. I want you to, first great commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart. Second great commandment, hangs all the law and the prophets. Love your neighbors yourself. Throw her some love on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> you get the church throwing stuff at you. That's good. It's a good thing you're sitting in the back row. <laughs> Ooh, Sheba. Whoa, whoa, again. One, two, three. One more time. Quick. One, two, three. Whew. There it is. Whoa. I begin to feel a warmth. Now, I don't want you to hurt yourself, but just give it a little wiggle. Bad pain? <laughs> yeah. Okay, shifted come. for a second there. It's coming right now. It's, good. it's coming. It's good. What does it feel like? Like it got lined back up. Hmm? Like it was out of alignment. It oh. got lined back up. It got lined back up just like that. Somebody give God right there. Wow. Just, he told me to tarry with you a minute right there. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. You're going to see that get better, better. It's not on faith to leave that on. That's okay. But you do what the Holy Spirit tells you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone else? Someone else? You're over here. Right, come right here. This shoulder. This shoulder and neck. Neck, okay. And if you, you give me a pain level. I think seven. A oh, seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's That's bad no enough good. to wish I had a pain pill. All right, well, seven, oh, forget it. It's going down. It's going down, going down, going down. You're a Jesus pill. That's the truth. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, the glory train. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that train when that train comes to town. I'm going to take the glory train and watch number seven come down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Begin to move your arm right now. We don't want to pray ourselves in unbelief. Just like that. Begin to move it. All right, give me a whirly bird like this. Whoa, whoa. A whirly bird? Yeah, all the way. Whirly bird right there. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, that's it's going to hurt. There it is. But it's going to not hurt in a minute. Okay. Whoop, ba -doop, boop, 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 boo. Thank you, Jesus. The word is true. You're going to let her do a whirly bird through and through. That's not because it's Kevin. It is you. Hey, 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 hey. You got it, girl. Come on. Now you're dancing. Now you're dancing. Hey. I should be dancing. Boom shakalaka laka. Boom shakalaka laka. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. And Jesus, the beat is getting stronger. Come on. <laughs> I was a child of the 60s. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's it feel like? Better. Give us a number. Take a minute. Going down? Going down. Going down. It's the movement. You might have a whole ministry there. The ministry of the malleable hip. <laughs> right there. Whoa, right there. Yeah, do things you couldn't do before. Paint the house. I couldn't do that. You couldn't. Somebody give God glory right there. Look at that. Just like that. Jesus is alive. All right, take a breath. Breathe it out, all the pain. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Woo, danda. Hey, hey, hey. I want you to take your hand and lay it on her shoulder, your, her shoulder over here, your hand. 
on the other gal's shoulder right here. Mm -hmm. You're right there. Keep going. Keep going right there and say, now, thank you, Jesus, for accelerated healing. Thank you, Jesus, for accelerated healing. That's right. Now I want you to take your other hand and put it on her shoulder. We're playing Christian Twister. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry to make you get up and move around. There you go. Right there. Just release into her now the love of the Father because it's not me. It's him and it's us. Right there. Right there. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, begin to feel the heat of his love coming through you right now. Papa God, right now. There it is. Whoa. All right, now move the shoulder and give me a number. So I receive my healing because of Jesus. Don't make me feel good, just a true number. I'm saying down to five now, easy. So easy. Better. Maybe better? Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. Everybody, fill it up. Get out here where they can see you. <laughs> throw, the, throw the baseball of love. One, two, three. Get it again. One, two, three. Foo. Perf this is prophetic drama. One, two, three. Foo. The earthly dramatization of a heavenly reality on earth as it is in heaven. Well, the word of the Lord coming true from the Father's heart through us right to you. Mm. Just take a second. He's moving it down. It's going down. Going down. When the muscles haven't been moved for a while, because you, if you're taking care of them, you're, you know, you know you, it gets like that. It can be still tight. It can be sore. But the pain is different. Whoa. Give it one more whirly bird and see where it's at. All right. Keep doing. Please do. It's your arm. Now that song, uh, Daryl Mansfield song, I kept thinking about that one about the train. Yeah. The was train, when, when love comes to town. What's that one? Do you know, Daryl Mansfield, the train, it's that blues song. Oh, it's good. Liz. I don't know. Do you know it? I'm to think of it. No. Make it up. Which one? Do you guys know? The train is coming. Yes, yeah, about the train coming, we're getting on it and going. Oh, right. The train is coming, we're getting on it and we're going. That song? No, it's no. no. <laughs> people get ready. There's a train. People get ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that song, but I don't know it. That's a good one. Yeah, you don't need no money, just get on board. Yeah, that's that cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. Take your glasses off. Take your glasses off. Now, we were praying for her eyes. She had cloud over her eyes. I was leaving last night to go up the stairs to get my coat, and she, she told me earlier that, you know, eyes and ears, and so the eye thing um, was uh, like she was, I saw her squinting. I said, take your glasses off. And I said, there's a cloud over your eyes. And she said, yeah, there is. And so I put my hand on her, and God started lifting. So you were reading the Bible this morning with the yeah. little print? Oh, yeah. And you could see where you, where you couldn't see before. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the cloudiness, all that filmy stuff just went lifted. All right. So now total, all the way. Yeah. Everybody's been talking about 2020. So better, God's going to take us to better. I'm not saying 2021 vision. I'm saying better than 2020 vision. Yeah. There we go, right here, right now. But all of that, now the other thing he wants to do is your ears. Okay? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 for all these years, there's been trouble hearing with your ears. But now Jesus is having some fun. He's doing your eyes and ears as one. I said, hearing. Yeah, people say, oh, hearing, that's hard. No, it's not. I'm hearing. I get hearing aids, but I'm hearing. <laughs> Thank Anita Johnson, my, our uh, audiologist. She's on our team. I get wonderful. I get wonderful hearing. Get this. Ready for this miracle? I'm driving out here from Albany. We got a 26-foot truck, and my wife and I are in the car in front of it. And I got my hearing aids, right? And we're in Rochester, New York, and I get in the car, and we get the masks. And the masks can take hearing aids out. It's a big problem. I didn't know it until I was about 100 miles down the road, and I realized there was nothing in my right ear. That hearing aid was probably on the ground in Rochester. And I go, oh, I don't want to tell Anita. She's, you know, she's my audiologist, and oh, <laughs> she's my friend, and I feel embarrassed, and I lost my... Hearing aid. So Cynthia, being who she is, said to me, call her. Tell her the truth. Oh, that's novel. <laughs> so 
I do. And Anita goes, I got news for you. Hold on, you tell me in a minute. I got news for you. She says, I went to the audiologist convention online and Zoom, and they're having a fundraiser. They were raising money for different charities. And one of the things I put a bid in on was a brand new pair of top of the line hearing aids. And guess what? I won the bid. They're your hearing aids. She said, what do you want to tell me? Nothing. <laughs> no, no, I told her right away. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> and, and I told her, and she went, that, praise God, praise God, praise God. And so uh, I got the new hearing aids in, and it's really good. And now I can hear my wife's honey-do list. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia's praising God. She's like, yes. But every once in a while I play with Anita, I have fun on the phone. She'll say, how you doing? I go, huh? <laughs> Never say hi to your audiologist, it gets them angry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Meanwhile, your ears are getting healed. Hey, hey, hey. And the eyes, and the ears, and the eyes, and the ears, and the eyes, and the ears together. I said the eyes, and the ears, the eyes, and the ears. It's a high pressure air from heaven. It's a whole new area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're going to start to hear different. Now, you've said hi to me a few times in the kitchen. You had to lean in, right? Okay, ready now? Just be quiet. Now, is this either ear bad or is either ear good? Is anyone worse than the other? What's the ear that's maybe not as good? This is the worst one. That's the worst one. Okay, turn this way. Kind of turn this way. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to go here. Now, I'm going to say a word, and I want you to tell me what I said. <clears throat> ready? Antipasto salad. Nothing yet? Antipasto salad. I can't hear the... No, the... You don't hear it yet. Okay, yeah. hold on. Okay. Can you hear in this ear? Yeah. Did you hear what I said? I don't. I didn't no, you didn't. So it's both ears. Did okay. you take your hearing aids out? They're in. Are the hearing aids in? They're in. Oh. Yeah, woo. I wonder. Here, I'll give you mine. That doesn't mean... That doesn't mean... Yeah. Okay, take your hearing aids out. We're going for the full metal jacket yeah, here. Like All right. Okay. Okay, God, you're in charge. The substance of heaven. Hey, 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 hey. Now the enemy's in my ear saying, well, you think you can't do anything. You've got hearing aids. What do you know? I don't know anything. It's not me. It's him. That's what the enemy does. Fake news. They did not see him because they were listening to the news. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you, Father. Mm. Mm. I knew I shouldn't have used that super glue this morning. Okay, ready? Here we go. Salad. Nothing. Not yet. When your eyes, when your eyes started to heal, mm -hmm. Did they happen immediately, or did it take a little while? It took a little while. I just started, it was, yeah, a gradual thing. And just keep going. It just feels good. It got better. Your, your eyes got better and better. But did they start immediately, or did it take a little time? It took a little time. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah. Sometimes he does it immediately. Sometimes it takes a little while. James Berkeley tells a great story about a guy who was blind in one eye. He didn't have the eyepiece. He was a Jewish guy, he, and he would, Berkeley had gone to the funeral. Not his, somebody else's. He was invited. <laughs> and I figured I'd clarify that. And uh, at any rate, the um, guy had a patch in one eye. And so the, the deal was, was that uh, Berkeley says, I want to pray for you. The guy says, I'm Jewish. Berkeley says, I got news for you. Jesus was Jewish. <laughs> it's okay. So we prayed for him, and that was it. Two weeks later, the guy's shaven, old school, with the razor and the, the soap. And the eye, the, the, the soap gets in the good eye. Oh, no. And he can't see. But all of a sudden he realizes he's seeing. Come on. Oh, yeah. Out of the eye that didn't have the peace that he could see. Praise the Lord. You talk about a creative miracle. So he goes to the doctor. Now the guy's on disability. Because when you lose an eye or, or sight or an arm or a limb, you get an annuity, usually half, most insurance companies, half the face value of whatever the life insurance is. The life insurance pays on a disability like that, maybe 50%. So he said to the doctor, I can see. And the doctor says, you can't see. He says, I can see. I can see. You can't see. 
You haven't got the body part. I can see. Blind. <laughs> the guy not only got his eyesight back, he got to keep the annuity. <laughs> and he was honest. Yeah, he was honest. He was That's honest. the key. Right here, right now. So let's just, we're not going to pray in unbelief. I'm believing that you're going to hear just like you're seeing. Okay? Now the enemy would say, oh, I'd like it to work immediately. Because I do. Because I want you to hear. And I also like to see it work because it raises faith in the crowd. And it also makes me feel good. <laughs> Let's just say, you know, when you're in a healing ministry, it's nice to have healing. It's job security. <laughs> so I'm in, I'm in Kansas. I'm in, I'm in Olathe, Kansas at the Jubilee Christian Center. Pastor I never met before. I was there with a friend of mine, Larry Moore. Okay, I'm with Larry. Larry's the only guy I know. Larry and Peggy, the only people I know in the room. And, and so I get a word of knowledge on frozen shoulders. And the pastor's arm goes up. And I went, oh, good, it's a pastor. Now, that's a faith. I mean, that's a faith saying, you know what I mean? Talk about unbelief, right? Oh, no, it's a pastor. Oh. And I'm about eight feet from him, and I'm, I am not flowing in the milk of human kindness. I mean, I'm like, oh. It's like, oh, oh, right off the bat. I'm going, oh. Again, this is not faith. And so the Holy Spirit says to me, will you stop it? <laughs> just like that, stop it. And just be the gift you are. So as I start walking to him, I start singing, because that's what you do when you don't know what to do. <laughs> Might as well sing. <laughs> and I go, I'm walking to the pastor, and I start singing, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, in you there's no lack. Heal the pastor's shoulder. I want to come back. <laughs> and boom, his arm went up. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to sing that again because there are no formulas, but it just shows you be the gift you are. Because when you start worrying about whether it's going to work or not, immediately you kill the anointing. You've just gone into the place of unbelief. Ooh, and I am battling to stay in the place of belief because the enemy's pounding on my brain. So I've got one word. Ready? <laughs> Right there. A good word. <laughs> Sorry if I got a little wet down there. <laughs> ah, look at it. It's the living water. Oh, yourself. <laughs> it's the living water. It, it sounds better Irish. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so otherwise, it's, hey, you got to live in water. <laughs> it sounds better Irish than Boston. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you got Boston Irish is different, too. We're all from heaven. My passport says Havania. <laughs> I got a mother tongue. Tongues. Thank you, Father. Everybody with me. Father, Father we, believe. we believe. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. This, is a living laboratory. this is a living laboratory. And we thank you, we thank that, you. Your daughter, that your daughter, our sister, our sister Barbara, Bundy, Barbara Bundy, is having her eyesight, is having her eyesight and, her hearing, and her hearing totally restored. Totally restored. Thank, you, Father. thank you, Father. Give him a shout of praise. <laughs> Wow. Thank you, Lord. Salad. <laughs> Nothing yet? Pastor must be hungry. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Thank you, Papa. Put your ears, your ears back in. You put your ears back in. You want to put it? Yeah, you put it back in. It's going to come. Now, when your hearing comes back, mm -hmm. I want to text okay. right away because oh, yeah. it's going to come. All right. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Somebody give God glory. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. And part of the reason sometimes, I don't know why that happens, but for me, it's growing in faith because we see things happen so quickly, so many times. You want it to happen, and when it doesn't, the enemy will use that differential in time to sow the seeds of you're not good enough, you're not doing it right, and it's not happening. And that's a lie. Yeah. Okay. We're not. It's just a testimony. Go ahead. Right. So um, I've had for uh, probably like a year and a half trouble with my bicep tendon. Yeah. And so, uh, so it, hurt, it hurts and it makes everything else hurt. And so last night when you were saying throw, like the the anointing like a baseball, mm -hmm. I'm like I'm not gonna do that because that's oh, yeah. gonna hurt my <laughs> yeah. my bicep. And then I said, oh what the heck? And so, <laughs> <laughs> my bicep's healed. 
All right, somebody give God glory. All right, that's good faith. Awesome. Lay your hands on her ears right now. Go ahead, lay your hands on hers. Just lay them on. No big prayer. Just lay your hands right now and release the love of the Father. Go ahead. Right there. Say, it's not me, it's us. Wow, right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Right there. Whoa. 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 Catatismos. Body fitting together. Remembering the body. Everybody doing their part. Everybody doing their part. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in Berkeley's church the first time. I'm at a place called the Buzz Inn. It's a steakhouse <laughs> with Berkeley. Buzz Inn. And a lady who was there. Keep, good job. <laughs> so, lady, we we're having lunch. And I'm going to do a meeting that night, healing meeting. And, and the lady comes, oh, I, I know you. Oh, yeah, you're the guy. I said, yeah, you're the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says, I'm coming to your meeting. I said, why? She said, uh, um, uh, I want my hearing healed. I said, what's the matter with the hearing? Well, the dog ate my hearing aid. I said, what? <laughs> That's a heck of a reason. Oh, I thought, okay, whatever. We'll meet you where you are. Right? Woo. Right? So I did a really foolish Woo. thing. I don't know why. I, I've never done it since. But I went like this. <laughs> and I took... <laughs> God forgive me. Well, Jesus spit in people's eyes. I know. Another whole deal. Right? And so, anyways, I said, uh, so what are you feeling? She goes, not so loud, Sonny. <laughs> just, I'll never forget those words. Just like that. Sometimes it's that way. Sometimes it's this way. And it's all good. Because his word is eternal. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's no respecter of persons. We don't have to know why. But like when Jesus, I shared last night with Lazarus, and I think it was Martha that said, if you'd only come when my brother you know, needed you, he, would, you know, he wouldn't be dead. And Jesus just said, so that the Father might be glorified. In other words, in his time, not yours, basically. And Lazarus came out four days. He was four days stinking four days. He came out alive. You just never know. Everybody go, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. All right, why don't we all stand right here now together. And is it this ear or both ears? Both. both. Right here now. We release now. Release now. Release now. You know where hearing aids, do you? I don't have them. <laughs> no, there they you broke. go. They broke. No, they broke. Waiting on the other one. Oh, okay, waiting on the other one. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. Until the okay. 20th, you might not be alive by then. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get healed. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Another blood. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Another blood. Thank you, Jesus. Right there. Hello. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> All right. All right. Just warning you all. I just, thank you, Jesus. Okay. No. All right. I'm going to say another word. I want you to hear if you can say it, all right? If you hear it. You ready? Mash potatoes. Mash potatoes. Okay. Green beans, amandine. Green beans, Amandine. Green beans, Amandine. Very good. Prime rib, medium rare. Prime rib, medium rare. Boston cream pie. Boston cream pie. I think the minister's getting hungry. <laughs> Now, uh, okay, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Apple pie and ice cream. Apple pie and ice cream. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Give me a hug, man. Now, let me ask you an honest Thank question. You. Uh, were those things you would have heard? 
with that out? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I've had them so long that. Uh, yeah. You know. Okay. So father, sometimes right? Sometimes they buzz. You know. Oh, tell me about it. You know. <laughs> we're walking through an airport. Everybody's looking at you. <laughs> You really want to freak somebody out? You got the thing in your ear, you just walk by and go, POTUS is here, the bird is in the nest, the bird is in the nest, POTUS is here. <laughs> the guy in row three, the guy in row three, yellow shirt, yellow shirt, and, like, <laughs> and just keep walking. <laughs> My turn. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're just releasing it here now. That's right. Ooh. Post falls, we don't have a problem. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hearing the word of the Lord in the spirit. Put your hands on your ears. Hearing the word of the Lord in the spirit and in the natural. Ooh. Seeing. In the spirit. In the eternals. And in the natural. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We can always get better. Even if you see well, you can get 2015, you can get better. Right. You can hear better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Mm. Now, the three couples that I've stayed with right here, the people right here, come forward. Come, come forward. Barbara, you, you come out here. You guys, come here. The so Holy Spirit just told me this now. This is not planned. Just come in. All the five of you come in close. Come in in a huggle. All right. Come in in a huddle. Come on in a huddle. All right. I want you to go long. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, would you come down? Please. Right here. Ooh. Right here. In, in here now. Okay. Ooh. Father, thank you for the hospitality that is in this church. This is for all of you. This is all of you right here, right now. Thank you for the hospitality that you have embedded in this church. You have imbued these saints with. Thank you that it creates a foundation for healing, for miracles, for deliverance, for salvation. Thank you, Father. We honor you. We honor you working through them. We honor them. We say thank you for the atmosphere that all these people create here that makes this a place of attraction, not promotion. And I proclaim not just numbers, but people that should be here will be here because you will speak loudly and they will come. I say thank you, Lord. This place was growing before COVID. It's growing now. We're not even going to wait for them to pull the mask thing off. Right now, Father, you're pulling the mask off the dark side. You're exposing all things and now let the people come to the clarion call because of the hospitality that is Jesus Christ now that totally permeates this place and comes out from it. It comes out in concentric circles of light and love. So through the blood of Jesus Christ and in the light of the Holy Spirit, we now declare prosperity upon this church family in on, around, and through this church family. Folks, get ready for a reawakening of Jesus Christ. Higher, deeper, wider, thicker, hotter, all the way. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Whoa, whoa. Woo. Whoa. Hey, hey. I'm done. <laughs>
Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, before we uh, disembark, <laughs> three hours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> three hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, a couple things. Uh, first, if if uh, you guys if you did come tonight wanting something from the Lord and it hasn't happened yet, get it. Okay, Kevin's not gonna be hidden out of here right away. He can pray for you. It only takes a second. Uh, and then uh, and you know hang around if you want to and talk with each other. Uh, we're also uh, there's a basket on the soundboard area back there. If you want to bless Kevin and uh, sow into his ministry, you can. Um, the church is already giving him an honorarium, so you don't need to do that if you don't want to, just if the Lord puts it on your heart. So, all right, so that's back there. But we love you. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for engaging. You know, as we all do this together, this is shared experiences, shared faith, shared new encounters, shared t new territories in the Lord, and we get to move together in it. So it's exciting to step into these places together. So thank you for being here. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Love you. Thank you for grabbing the blessing. Yeah. Amen.